Hi everyone, you're on the road again with Craig. Uh, we're here just having a chat about negotiation. Um, most people seem to think that negotiation is purely about price and I personally don't think you could be further from the truth. There's so many other options that you can negotiate on rather than price that can add value and we constantly do this for our clients. So it could be anything from shortening the settlement period, extending the settlement period, uh, depending on what our client requires. It could be potentially if the property is vacant, it could be advertising the property uh, so we get a tenant in there beforehand and we're giving a little bit away to the current owner or the vendor uh, in the fact that they might get a few weeks rent uh, before they sell it. So they're getting a little bit of cash, we're getting a tenant in, we're potentially not having to pay a letting fee as well, which could be generally that's one week's rent. So those sort of things can add up. Um, we could be getting early access to potentially do some renovations to the property. So once again, we can get the property tenanted and be getting the best price before we even take ownership. So all these little things can add up. Um, you know, so price is part of it, but always be prepared to give a little bit uh, to get a lot. Um, and always have a strategy before you go in there. Don't just rush in, uh, try and slow it down and have an end game uh, in mind. Don't just go in all willy nilly. So once again, try and have a plan. Think about the things you can give to the vendor that can be ad adding value to the vendor so that you can potentially get what you want to get out of the deal, whether it's getting into the property quicker, getting a tenant in, uh, renovating, all those sort of options. You know, there's plenty of other things out there as well, but they're just the basics. So like I said, give up a little bit to gain a lot. And sometimes haggling over a small amount, you know, whether it's a few thousand dollars, just let it go. For the sake of getting a property that's, you know, half a million dollars or up to a million dollars, three or four thousand dollars at the end of the day isn't gonna break the bank. And when you're talking about a long-term property plan, you know, we talk about seven to 10 years minimum, those sort of amounts are insignificant in the fact that you can get this property now, you can get into it, you can get it started to earning income, and you can start leveraging off that and getting some capital growth. Otherwise, you're out there again week after week or paying a buyer's agent to go out there week after week um, looking for another property and starting all over again. So time is money for everyone. So hopefully that educates you a little bit on negotiation and hopefully you get a little bit out of it. Please don't forget to like and share the videos. And if you'd like us to cover any other comments, topics, please um, comment below and have a look at our uh, website if you want some more information. But enjoy your day guys and we'll speak to you soon. See you later.